Every minute, 19 tons of plastic waste are dumped into our oceans. That's 1,140 tons every hour, or 27,360 tons every day. Meaning the human race is polluting our oceans with 9,849,600 tons of plastic every year. And in this episode, we are visiting our neighbors trying to do something with this global problem. We have new neighbors. Join me as I'm sailing around the world on B3, a Bavaria 55 cruiser. Sailing around the world is a strong statement. And to me this means that my intentions actually means I'm dedicated and trying to fulfill my dream of a full circle. Saying I love the oceans is also a strong statement. And even though I'm not promoted this much on my channel, I often try to do the little I can when I have the chance. Like what I showed you from Tual here in Indonesia. Picture that 10 bags was floating of garbage plastic around my boat. It's so sad. Look. One of the biggest blessings sailing out there at the big blue oceans is the close encounter with the marine life, such as dolphins, whales and even sharks. Having so many oceans behind me, I have also sailed through endless oceans of plastic. And this is really sad sight for someone truly loving the oceans. Luckily there is lots of positive things going on, even here in Indonesia. And you can see even here, uh, the sign here actually says that if you throw plastic or garbage on the beach or in the nature, you risk a fine of 500,000 rupee, which is quite a lot of money for a local currency. And last night the plastic odyssey moored close to be free. I've been following them for a while on Instagram because I like what they are doing in this context. So I sent them a message hoping for permission to come on board for a short visit. What separates this ship and project from others is they are taking a different approach to the problem. The focus is more to target the source rather than treating the symptoms after it's already a problem. And this is what I'm gonna share with you right now. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can we come on board? Yeah, yeah cool. Uh, yeah. The rope. We, we yeah. <laughs> you can do it. We believe in you. Can I? Three? Brian. Brian. Vanessa. Alessa. Nice to meet you. Three. Three? Three. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hello. Three? Thomas. Thomas. Nice yeah. to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> awesome. We are basically stepping straight into the showroom, where they are teaching entrepreneurs how to recycle plastic waste into new products with very low-tech machines. One of the biggest problems in the world today is how the plastic is handled and stored. And if we don't stop this, it will be more plastic than marine life in our oceans within 2050. And this is the core mission of Plastic Odyssey. Teach, educate and inspire to stop the plastic from reaching our oceans from the most plastic polluted areas in the world. 
helping startup entrepreneurs and organizations sharing their knowledge and expertise in how to recycle plastic into new products with these low-tech machines and even making diesel or petrol out of non-recyclable plastic. So it's like um, you have different aluminium molds and you can bake uh, different products. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's pretty cool. You can actually make anything from terrace boards to roof bricks. Actually, it's similar size, it's size and shape that I had on my house back home in Norway. Oh, yeah, yeah. nice. But that was uh, made in concrete, mm -hmm. and this is plastic. Yeah, Recycle. that's right. Recycle. Recycle plastic, and we made it. We, yeah, all the products here, like the buildings yeah. uh, products, or so some of them, like this one, we call it like roof top here. Yeah, like roof, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then also, like the, we call it like a puffing block or for the sidewalk, but we make it like more, uh, what is that, like solids. Yeah. It's like a combined with. 50 plastic, 50% plastic, and yes. then 50% sand. Ah. So, yeah, that's so the combination the of the. Yes, exactly. When I crossed the Atlantic in 2018, I was shocked to see how much plastic and garbage it was in the ocean. Still, this was nothing compared to what I saw on some Caribbean islands. And still today, the Dominican Republic is the worst place I have seen with Panama not that far behind. You know how to make a girl look a little bit trashy? <laughs> make a photo shoot here. <laughs> <laughs> a bit humoristic with Amanda there, but it shows how global this problem is. And when Alicia, Brian and Amanda sailed with me in the sun blast, we were really sad to see so much plastic even there. So my friends have also seen this on the other side of our planet, just as they have seen the challenge here in Indonesia. I was prepared for Asia being a very depressive view in this context, but actually positive surprise so far by Indonesia. It's definitely not good, but far from as bad as I expected, and it actually looks like they are motivated to improve. That said, Indonesia still have a long way to go, and hopefully projects like the ones Plastic Odyssey is representing can motivate to speeding up the process in stopping plastic reaching our oceans. This is why I'm such a big fan of Plastic Odyssey, and almost a bit starstruck being allowed on board this ship. We did not want to take too much of their time, as they had a pretty tight schedule here in Bali. But we got a good explanation how the process goes from sorting and cleaning the plastic before it gets shredded into pellets for either making plastic planks, tubes, paste for baking in aluminium molds and even pyrolysis to oil and gas products. But you can make uh, like petrol from uh, recycling plastic. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. I want that machine. Uh, <laughs> we have that one in... Yeah, we can see but... Yeah? This is so cool, I love this. <laughs> Not all plastic are suitable for recycling. It can be contaminated and mixed plastic that are difficult to recycle. Also, the plastic has a limited number of cycles it can be recycled. So the last stop for this are the pyrolysis process, where it can be transformed to petrol. 70 to 80% of the processed plastic mass is transformed into oil. The rest falls as solid residues to the bottom of the reactor, or is transformed into gas which can be used to directly heat up the reactor. The production capacity of this machine is 30 liter of fuel per hour. It's, not, it's a little bit too big to have on the free, but otherwise, I mean, if you're in remote places, you can make your own petrol, that would be awesome. <laughs> It's similar to the Dex light that they sell here in Indonesia. Doesn't look too bad. Would you need to filter it before you use it? Yes, of course. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> Six of <laughs> Yes. Yeah. 
Lots of startups around the world turning plastic waste into new products after this ship has been on a visit. And now they are continuing their circumnavigation to new places, sharing their knowledge and expertise. <laughs> so, I should learn, I should know this, never leave anyone else to tie my boat. <laughs> <laughs> there it comes. I'm so happy to have so many nice friends here. <laughs> There's only one dinghy in Bali with a painted Norwegian flag on the outboard. And thankfully everyone in this anchorage knows me by now, as it's quite a small community here compared to elsewhere I've been. And one of my new friends here had spotted my dinghy on the run and even figured out by himself where I was. That was lucky, wasn't it? Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, that's also... So, what hey. happened? Um, you think you... Okay. <laughs> it's like, uh, what do you call it in French? Annex? Annex, wait. Wait. <laughs> who secures secure the annex? My team or uh, uh, yourself? <laughs> I'm a gentleman. I will never tell. Thank you so much for watching and for being here. Also thank you for helping me growing this channel by subscribing. And remember to hit that notification bell not to miss my Southeast Asia adventure. A special thank you to all my amazing patrons, family and friends for helping. Much love from me on Adventures with Be Free.